John Lee has more on the latest fallout over feathers. Is there one small bouillon cube of justice in this whole stinking world? He spreads his wings in front of Asheville's controversial Staples store. Charlie the Chicken takes some swipes at the city at a news conference with the help of an interpreter. Supporters say the size of Staples signage is 600 square feet, four times the legal limit. Staples gave our city the chicken finger when they put up this ugly fake brick wall. The bizarre stunt, only the latest attempt to play off the drama surrounding another feathered friend. Last month, the city banned this bird, saying it was a violation of the city sign ordinance. The Planning and Development Department claims it's a traffic hazard. That mascot didn't need a translator when we spoke to him in October. I say that I'm not a sign. I'm a human being. And I'm, uh, I think I add something to the community. But that bird is now relegated to parade appearances. Oh, my gosh. Now, Councilman Carl Mumpower says as far as the picnics chick is concerned... I'm, I'm on, on the side of the, the, the chicken. I, I think government has a tendency to pick on the easiest uh, targets. Others have used the chicken suit for their purposes. Earlier this month, a poultry picketer appeared in front of picnics with the group Carolina Animal Action, protesting the inhumane treatment of animals. Strangely, the chicken has become a symbol of protest here in Asheville. With Turkey Day approaching, supporters think it's a powerful way to drive their point home. Power to feathers! In Asheville, John Lee, News 13. Picnic Restaurants is still fighting to get its bird back on the streets. One thing for sure, a cold day out there for the it, chicken. You <laughs> needed the coats yes. on. The chickens, they have feathers.